Hi there, grade 11 students. Welcome to the new topic for the week. We are now on module 1, lesson 5. The topic is the subsistence of the earth. With the most essential learning competency, explain that the earth is consists of four subsystems whose boundaries matter and energy flow. This is again your teacher creeping at your service. The Earth is comprised of four major subsystems. These are the air, water, land, and life. These subsystems are also called the spheres of the Earth. Air represents the atmosphere. Water represents the hydrosphere. Land represents the geosphere. And life represents biosphere. The air system is called the atmosphere. It contains gases, regulates the temperature, and blocks radiation. The atmosphere is the gaseous part of the earth composed of several trace gases necessary to support the existence of all living components such as plants and animals. The atmosphere is divided into layers according to differences in the pattern of temperature as one goes to higher altitude. Hydrosphere The hydrosphere is composed of all the waters on Earth such as liquid water found in oceans, lakes, and streams, Polar ice, which is solid in form, and water vapor that results from evaporation of liquid water. Earth is sometimes called the blue planet due to the presence of liquid water. The biosphere encompasses all life forms on Earth, from the smallest phytoplankton to the biggest mushroom. Organisms comprising the simplest cyanobacteria to the complex eukaryotes adapt to their natural environment leading to survival. Geosphere is a solid sphere of the Earth. This is where different geologic processes such as volcanic activity, formation of mountains, volcanoes, and other geologic structures that take place. The lithosphere is a part of the geosphere that is composed of the solid, outermost part of the planet. It is where tectonic plates that move are found, causing the ground to move through vibrations of energy from the mantle. The closer view of Earth and its unique characteristics help us appreciate why the physical environment is traditionally divided into four subsystems the hydrosphere atmosphere geosphere and biosphere as a review the hydrosphere is composed of all the waters on or near the Earth's surface. This includes water on the surface like ocean, rivers, and lakes. It may also be the water in the underground, in wells and aquifers, and may exist as a moisture in the air which is visible as clouds and clouds. The Earth's atmosphere is not just comprised of air but also includes an envelope of gas extending to the space. 
This thin layer of gas that envelops our planet is necessary to sustain life because it contains gases essential for humans and animals to breathe. The geosphere comprises the solid part of the planet. Biosphere includes all life forms on Earth, from the smallest to the biggest. All the spheres in the system interconnect and overlap. No sphere works on its own. Consider the diagram above. Evaporation from the hydrosphere provides the medium for cloud and rain formation in the atmosphere. The atmosphere brings back rainwater to the hydrosphere. Water provides the moisture and medium for weathering and erosion of rocks in the geosphere. The geosphere in return provides the platform for ice melts and water bodies to flow back into the ocean. The atmosphere provides the geosphere with heat and energy needed for rock breakdown and erosion. The geosphere in return reflects the sun's energy back into the atmosphere. The biosphere receives gases, heat, and sunlight in the form of energy from the atmosphere. It receives water from the hydrosphere and a living medium from the geosphere. The Earth's subsystems are important because they interact with each other and the biosphere. They work together to influence the climate, trigger geological processes, and affect life all over the Earth. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you learned a lot. Please do not forget 